Saf Lager 3470 versus Diamond Lager from Lalleman. Let's go. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. About three weeks ago, I did a split batch. I split up the wort into three different vessels. One with BF27, one with 3470, and one with Diamond Lager. I fermented them under pressure, the same pressure in the same temperature. I did pitch a little hot, around 22, 23 Celsius, but I got the temperature down over night. The 3470, Kicked off a little bit slower than the Diamond Lager, but as the temperature raised over to the next day when it got a little hotter, they had both fermented out in one and a half day. So super fast fermentation. I don't know if you can see it, but they are both crystal clear. Also have some issues here with, with the sun, so I have to take my word for it. I did clear this with gelatin and they both cleared up in around a week. Under a week. Fermentation wise, the OG was 1043 and they both fermented out the same to 1011, which gives us a beer at 4.3%. This is a quite malty beer with Cara aromatic malt. I will link down below to the grain to glass video. You can also link to clear beer with gelatin if you're interested in that. I do think we have a little bit more carbonation here, and that's more or less the why this whole Olivia head and everyone loves good head. I've tried them before but not side by side. So the numbers are the same and they looks exactly the same. Let's go for aroma. Mm, quite malty. 3470. Here we have a little difference. You don't get the same like punch in aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's really hot here today. They are different. I can feel that they have a little more carbonation and that of course helps the flavor push around the mouth, but they are, it's not only that, they, they are different. They are both excellent uh, fermented beers, they have no off flavors at all, that I could ferment this out in one and a half day and without any issues, that's freaking awesome. You should get into pressurized fermentation. I have a lot of videos here on my channel. But that does not mean that you should subscribe to my channel because my channel sucks, but you can go and check out the pressurized fermentation. Start with the Q&A videos, I have three of them. If you have questions, maybe your questions are already answered there. None of them are bad, but getting a little bit more flavor on the 3470, which I preferred for this beer. If you haven't watched the Green to Glass video, you can go and check out that one. If you have, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Dope dance out. Hello. Double fisted.